I ate that too with a passion. Oh my God. Why anyone thought this was a bloody good idea over an Allen key. It's all right, that. So I've done about 200 miles in the car and there are a few things that have come to light that might not be too clever. Inevitably, um, I, I kind of knew they would. They, they always do when you, uh, when you work like this. And there are a few things that are going to need to be fixed uh, fairly soon. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown. The tailgate wiring uh, in true Fiat 500 style, it's trash. And looking at it, somebody has had a go at it previously. Um, I found, yeah, this is, this is for another time. Tonight's escapade is going to be around changing the extremely noisy alternator. Um, now, when cars have been stood for X amount of time and moisture, condensate, whatever you want to call it, they tend, they, they tend to be one of the things that suffers. Uh, I had exactly, exactly the same issue with the Panda. And uh, they start, it started getting really, 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 really noisy. And then the next thing you know, it's completely failed. Um, we haven't got to the failure stage with this yet, but I know from experience that it's literally just a matter of time. So we are going to replace it. Um, the dice has been rolled. I bought a second-hand alternator. This means that it may or may not be correct. We need to establish that first because it's going to be an early finish if it isn't. Uh, here's something that doesn't happen very often, and that is, I appear to have some luck. Or at least I'm thinking I do. Um, I might be able to get that alternator down through there. Um, I don't know, I can't remember why the pan is different now. I think because that shaft is different and the gearbox is in a different place. Um, yeah, I think we can, uh, we might be able to do this. It doesn't seem to, there's only two bolts as well. The design is obviously an evolution, which is great. So, um, and it's looking, looking awfully like the alternate. There might actually be the same one. I, I'm, I'm going to stop talking now because, yeah, this is, uh, Ah, uh, so I've uh, I've just remembered to, I've got to disconnect the battery. Um, so those cables are going to come off, and then there's two bolts, which I'm hoping. Um, oh, I've got to take the belt off as well, which is. Uh, oh, 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 which is up there. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we got to get that tensioner, drop that belt off there. Anyway, I'm going to get this done because uh, yeah, it's looking good. I think I can get you from ooh, either side of that subframe. This is so much easier. Something in the way she moves. Boom, 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 boom. Tracks me like no other weather. Boom, boom. Something in the way she moves. <laughs> what, what are you doing over there? Oh my god, you do that again, you're going in the bin! Let's just check this the right one first. Could be a stick on it somewhere. Four nine one seven. Four Chicken dinner! So it looks like the trade-off, because there had to be some complications is the exhaust um which will take me approximately five minutes to remove and just push out of the way uh, she's not 
looking good. Bit of a shame, really. But exactly the same thing happened to the panda. And I only put it down to the fact that it was stood so long and it just... Well, stuff's happened, doesn't it? Um, it's not done too well. But this is obviously a better unit. So, And it was only 40 quid delivered. Which I can't really complain about. And it's a genuine Fiat article. And it's the right one. Don't often roll the dice and it works. So, yeah, really pleased about that. So now we've got to put it back in. Place. We just need to wiggle you a bit. Right, you're gonna have to go over there. Way too, way, 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 way too much. Perfect. <sighs> yes. Right, before I forget. The car has been coming up with uh, constantly. Uh, reoccurring traction control error, hill holder, all that, everything else, telling me that the brake light switch is faulty, etc., etc. Tailgate lights, a few other bits and pieces. So, uh, did a bit of research, found out the wiring loom in the tailgate is prone to uh, having a few problems. Um, it looks like somebody's already had a go because this is what we're dealing with. But just to clarify, this is nothing to do with me. Clever, aren't it? I mean, obviously it's a professional job. You know, you wouldn't want any amateur sort of hacking around with this or, um, uh, you know. Yes, those two are not even joined up. They just left. So I've got two completely severed wires. And two that have been repaired by a monkey. This is worse than I ever thought it could be. I thought that they might be a bit of break, you know, but, but it's actually been butchered. I don't know why anyone would do this or leave it like this. This is just, it's actually annoying. I'm really upset, actually. There's just no need of it. Oh, wow. It gets worse. It gets worse. So, we've managed to get this uh, uh, a lot better. Um, and everything's working now as well, which is a great thing. So I've managed to use these little things which are awesome. Uh, it's a bit tight in here, and I've had to add a bit there. This, I can't get up, and it is soldered, so it's not as bad as ever. But everything is now, there's no broken wires, there's no, and they're all been, uh, all properly soldered and, and, and everything else, so hopefully that'll get rid of a few errors. The alternator replacement that we did uh, previously 
went very well. Um, I did, I've done probably close to 150 miles on this alternator now. The noise went away. However, we've had another noise come back, which almost sounds similar, but I know that it's not. Now, it's not the air conditioning compressor because I, 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 it's not actually engaged at the moment. Um, I have a feeling that uh, that's, that's another um, uh, little, little issue. However, you can hear, oh, actually I don't know whether you can, but let me just uh, make this a little bit on the... Uh, As you might have uh, heard, picked up, etc., we've got a little bit of an issue, and this is something like I said, this was fine 100 miles ago, 125 miles ago, and it started to get worse and worse and worse. Today, it was coming back from Cardiff, I was thinking, it's just then right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip all this off, I'm going to run it without the auxiliary belt, and make sure there's nothing connected to that that's causing the problem, i.e., it could be the, the alternator that I fitted has gone daft. That, that's happened to me before as well. Um, I'm more inclined to think it's something to do with the timing belt slash water pump. I've also had those go faulty almost immediately on them. Whether I tensioned it incorrectly, although how you can tension it incorrectly, I'm not entirely sure. You line the marks up, you're good to go. Um, it's a bit of a chore, because you've now got to take all this off again. But that's kind of what I'm going to do. Well, it's a little bit later now, by a little bit later, I mean quite a bit, because I, I need some help in understanding something here. The parts store supplied the wrong water pump, and it's not the one, any of these that are here, because it's it wasn't even worth me opening the box. It's going straight back then. Of course, it's Sunday in the UK. Everything grinds to a halt. Not entirely sure why, but you know, uh, that's how things are. Um, I've just had a 50 mile round trip in an attempt to find and try and get something, get this car back and running today, which isn't what you're supposed to do because the, the um, goop needs a certain amount of time to go off. Now, this is the one that came out of originally this is the one that I fitted this is the one that I've acquired 
they're all identical. I, you know, other than maybe a bit of colour. I can't find any difference in the manufacturing or very little, I should say. This one here is closer to the OE. This is the Gates one, which I, I did actually say should be of OE quality, but appears to be noisy. Cannot figure out where we went wrong with this because I can't find any problems with the installation. I can't find any problems with yeah anyway <sighs> right i think we're about ready uh stick the belt back on tension our bad boy up now i get that some people would say that i have to replace this belt because it's been tensioned it could be an issue etc etc Belt's been on there for th less than 300 miles. It is like new. Well, it is. So I'm going to roll the dice. I do not see a problem with reusing this belt. I just don't. I may come to eat those words at some point, but. We shall see. I ate that all with a passion. Oh my god! Why anyone thought this was a bloody good idea over an Allen key? Oh! Stay on the floor! Looks straight, it looks everything looks good. Oh, why is it? No easy way of doing this. Right, that should be about... Oh, look! There we go! Right, everything's lined up. Everything's tensioned. Everything's moving. I'm happy with that belt being in the right place. Well, we'll find out now. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this back together and I'm going to run it without the covers on. Whilst we are waiting for that goo to uh, actually go off, I've got a few little things I want to get to under here. Uh, this car is continually telling me that the brake switch is buggered. And obviously, with it being European in nature, all of that is over here because the brakes run on a shaft that goes through from driver's side. Oh, oh I think my uh, torch is buggered. So that'll be the charging socket broke on my favourite light, which I'm really happy about. Anyway, so we've got to try and get this out here. Now, looking at this. I'm thinking, we go, yeah, and, uh, is it a twist? <laughs> it's the identical switch, that's got a Fiat Parts logo on it, this one doesn't. Yep, I think I paid about seven pound for that they're like 30 quid from fiat turns out the switch adjusts itself which is kind of cool but we'll see how that works now when we fire everything back up well go up at some point right fuel pump up what's the worst thing that could happen is i've got it completely wrong missing ah. <laughs> so 
So, we've still got a noise, which is beginning to really, because the only thing it can be now, and I think I've ruled out the tensioner, because that, well, it must be the belt. I am at a loss, a bloody loss. Last roll of the dice. Turns out the belt is the same as the panda's belt. So I had a spare one here for that. And I've now, well, put that on it. This is a Conti belt on it at the moment. Belt felt noticeably thicker than the Gates belt I took off it, but yeah, so that's on there now. We're going to see if that makes any difference. Sorry, Derek, I had to use it. It's a bloody belt. After all that, it was the bloody belt. Right. Before I get too angry or too upset, I'm going to chalk this up the le learning experience. Oh. Right. Now, this has been running with no alternator for the last... God knows how long, so I think it's time to give it a bit of a rest and then put everything back together. So I'm going to have to come back up with the light and fix it. Still, positive, it's sorted. Wow, sorted. Loads quieter. Loads quieter. I can't believe it was about. God. It's alright, that. Nah.